At the beginning of the pandemic, when it was clear that ventilators were going to be really important, there was a ventilator shortage or concerns about ventilator shortages. The U.S. actually had hundreds of ventilators that it couldn't use because they were in storage and had not been maintained. This has been a really exciting project to be involved with because it bridges the gaps between engineering and, and medicine. And we're using engineering techniques to really solve an important clinical problem, which is around ventilation. The device is a medical device that allows ventilator's circuit to be split between multiple patients. This allows patients to be ventilated with a single ventilator for two to four patients. This device is different in that because it doesn't require any maintenance, it can expand the ventilator capacity that's available very quickly and for much lower cost than purchasing more ventilators. What struck me most about this project was how there was an immediate need that was identified and how quickly we were able to form a group to collaborate and to come up with a solution to this problem. The University of Calgary was a, an easy place to, to find others to collaborate. I was looking for someone to study the system with me and to characterize how the system works from a physics and a engineering point of view. Our role is to monitor the air dynamic of the system. For example, like all the patients have a different lung compliance and can we control each of them? How their air dynamics goes in and then how their lung behave and react from the ventilator. So we are implementing the pressure sensor and then flow meter to detect the pressure change and flow rate in real time. So the device has been now licensed by Health Canada under the COVID-19 interim order and that allows it to be used with patients in Canada in the setting of a critical ventilator shortage. It's exciting for the device to be able to be put into the hands of clinicians and hopefully save some lives.